got this far. At Limerick Robotics, you have the opportunity to learn how to design and machine a complicated robot. You have the chance to wire motors and solder sensors. You get to write advanced software that makes our robot drive in elaborate paths. Or you can make beautiful graphic designs and animations seen by thousands of people every year. Lastly, robotics is a place where you can have fun. How many of you have experience with Legos? You can take apart and rebuild things within seconds. However, this is not the case with our robot. Many of the parts that we put onto our robot are specifically made for our robot. So taking them apart would be incredibly time consuming and inefficient. In order to work around this, we 3D model our robot using computer aided design or CAD. This allows us to have a model to work off of while machining our robot. And after the robot is designed, we need to machine it. In our machine shop at Limburg, we use two mini mills, a bandsaw, a drill press, and a lathe, similar to Miller Wood Shops. The highlights of our shop are the two CNC mills, which are giant, seven feet tall programmable mills that machine parts to nearest thousands of an inch. Another project is building the wooden game elements on the competition field, which are necessary for testing our robot. Software Controller Robot We write software that automates control for many aspects of the game, such as moving the elevator to a fixed height or collecting a bomb. We also worked on a really cool project we call the Line Scanner. Similar to a Lego Mindstorms robot, this robot detects a line and moves the top of itself side to side to keep the ball in place. We also need to wire up the robot to deliver power from the battery to the motors. To do this, we model the electrical components on a computer to eliminate any problems before the physical robot is done. Then we can wire up the robot neatly and quickly after the building is complete. What we do may sound complicated, but don't worry, no matter your experience level, we've got you covered. In the fall, we hold weekly workshops that teach you about all the different aspects of our team, even beyond building a robot. These include electrical, software, machining, computer-aided design, media, and animation workshops. The Girls' Subsystem Challenge is where girls work together to design a major subsystem. Our subsystem this year was the drivetrain, or the base of the robot, which allows for movement across the field. In the Girls' Subsystem, we design everything from shafts to battery boxes, and you create those parts using a wide variety of machines. At the end, we assemble the frame with gearboxes, wheels, and chains. The main point of the challenge is to welcome girls into a comfortable environment while challenging them to go even further. For me, the Girls' Subsystem helped me gain confidence in my design skills, and as a sophomore this year, I successfully led and designed our drive gearbox. But to do everything that we do, we need money and a team structure. We have students passionate about business and organization as well. We write grants to our company sponsors, document our team initiatives, and engage with our community at various outreach events. Limbrook has a lot of fun clubs, and we hope that you find your new home at Robotics. If you want to join the club, please fill out our interest form with the link at the end of this video. Thank you.